out in Canton, Ohio. Uh, the owner was uh, generous enough to let us come in. It's a takeout only restaurant, but she let us in to try the food today. Uh, I got this unique uh, Jamaican soft drink. It is pineapple, so I'm gonna be busting into that in a minute. Uh, first thing we're gonna try here is her homemade mac and cheese. Look at that, look how generous they are with her portions, it's crazy. All right, let's give this a go here. Let's dip it in too. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Who doesn't like homemade mac and cheese? Peppery. That Peppery. Is nice. It is very uh, tangy, cheesy. It's the way it should be. It is, you can tell. Made oh, with yeah. love. Made, Made with, with love. love and passion. And I can see pieces of pepper in there. And I love pepper. Mm. The owner is amazing. She's awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. spiritual, interesting, mm. fantastic stories, backstories. Uh, yeah. She has really good stories. Yeah. Uh, super, super nice and generous woman. All right. So I got oh the oxtail. God. It's going to say. It's going to take two hands to lift this. This is a medium serving of it. It's very heavy. So you get the rice and the um, cabbage. And inside, this is also, you get two meats. If you want to just do all oxtail, you can do all oxtail. Um, but this has uh, potatoes in it. Golden potatoes. So I'm going to go in for this cabbage first. Man, I grew up in cabbage, and I love me some cabbage. Oh man. I'm getting in there. Oh man. I'm getting in there. Yeah, I have my own, but I'm still getting in here. <laughs> it's so good. Dear Lord. The uh, the peppers, the onions, the carrots. Just right. Alright, I gotta go in for this rice here. It's buried underneath this uh, meat. This is and the, these are fresh herbs. We pull that herb herb out. Yep. She puts fresh herbs, not bottled herbs, or what do you call that? Powder herbs. Mmm. I'm seeing black beans in there, or maybe it's red beans. I don't know. So good. Okay, so I've never had oxtail before, and um, it just falls off the bone. Um, mm, mm, mm. That tastes like just something that's been stewing, which obviously it has. Yeah. It's been stewing all day. This this could be over mashed potatoes too. Yeah. So good. Wow. I can, I'm very happy I got the oxtail. I was scared because oxtail sounds like a strange thing to eat, <laughs> but it's literally just beef, and it's just right. Ox is beef. Ox. So good. Yeah. All right. How was the potato? Oh my lord. Ridiculous? Melts. Melts like butter. But that gravy is very rich and thick and it has a little bit of a, it has a, a spice in it. Like all spice. I think she said all, all spice. Oh, okay. All okay, spice. so this part of my plate is the oxtail and this part of my plate is the brown chicken. And she said this only spicy dish here is their curry chicken. And my sister got some of the curry chicken, so we'll try that in a second. But this is their so this is their brown chicken mm. slightly different flavor than the oxtail the oxtail i would describe it as just something like comforting like very comforting beef essence in the uh, sauce and this one has a little bit of like allspice allspice i think in it either one you can't go wrong, I'm telling you, and that cabbage is insanely good. Well, that was a good winter meal. I mean, I would eat that any season. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm the only one who ventured out, Oops. ventured out very bravely, and I got the Caribbean, the uh, jerk chicken, which... Uh, my, my thing is so full, I don't know that I can lift it and show it, but um, it has the jerk spices, uh, a real thick, heavy sauce, and it has uh, chicken and pineapples. Mm, pineapples. So yeah, and it's it's got like a um, 
a tang to it, like vinegar. Oh. It just falls apart. Yeah, and it is just so full of flavor. Yeah, I noticed like a, like a little bit of a tang. Like a, yeah. yeah, like a vinegar tang mm -hmm. when the sweetness of the pineapple mm -hmm. is a perfect of sweet and sour. You gotta have the pineapple to offset it because it is very, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. yes. So that little bit of uh, pineapple just, just makes it perfect. Yeah. And then I got the brown chicken just because I wanted the gravy and the potatoes over top of my face. It's just so good. I think if I were to come here multiple times, I'd probably just get that brown chicken over and over and over because yeah. it is that good. Okay, so I'm going to try the uh, Jamaican soft drink. Uh, this is pineapple. Um, yeah, it really is bottled in Kingston, Jamaica. So, and it might taste like the ocean. <laughs> it might make you want to go to the ocean. Oh my god. That's really good. You want to try a little sip? It literally tastes like fresh squeezed uh, pineapple juice with a little bit of fizz. Is that good? They have different flavors too. They have different kinds of Jamaican uh, bottled drinks up there. We also got a beef patty. My daughter has been talking about getting a Jamaican beef patty. Or, it's kind, yeah, of, I think it was. kind of like the Jamaican version of the Mexican empanada. Yeah. So the beef patty is actually only three dollars, which is crazy. Yeah. So it is okay. It's a ground beef and veggie. Is it good? That is so aromatic. Yeah. They're so crunchy because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it was a crunchy or a soft thing. It is really crunchy. What's, what is the inside of it? Very aromatic. It's like a pie. That's like a crunchy pie. Slightly crunchy, just slightly. All right, I'm gonna dip mine into my uh, my chicken stuff here. Mmm. It's hot. Oh, is it spicy? You think so? Yeah, I didn't notice. All right, I'm gonna go in here and dip some more of this um, little patty into my uh, chicken broth here. Did you guys do this? Mm -mm -mm. So good. Sorry. The food here makes me smile. Yeah, it's that good. Plus, wow. it's just such a very nice. Um, family establishment with community driven, a community minded woman running it, and a woman who understands and embraces her own uh, faith and her culture and uh, isn't afraid to share that. And that's nice, that's refreshing. Um, she also said that um, most of her business is word of mouth. So you know your food is good when your yep. business is booming just by word of mouth alone. So um, even during COVID, she was so incredibly busy um, that she managed to pay off her building and um, just really established, put a real foothold in the in the community. I actually made a mistake. Uh, the spiciest thing here is their jerk chicken. Uh, the curry is actually very mild and I will show you it's on my mom's plate over here it is right here that is the curry and it's actually very mild it doesn't have a lot of kick mm -hmm. it's the jerk chicken that mm -hmm. is very spicy so if you love a good kick to your meat definitely try the jerk meat this is the curry, curry. this is the curry chicken mm -hmm. mm. And I like that she puts potatoes in everything, and it's mm -hmm. not just potatoes, it's yellow golden potatoes, which is, it's, um, thicker, it's a much thicker and heavier potato. So here's the potatoes. This is like, um, a very unique, like, I guess I would describe it as chicken gravy. So, because it, it has the curry in it, yeah. it makes it everything very yellow. Yeah. She puts golden yellow potatoes in everything. Mm -hmm. I love her for that. These are my 
Alright. I am the plant eater at the table, so I am excited. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. They good. Oh my. They hot. They taste like but they warm. I just got to yeah. put it so you gotta blow yeah. it off. Okay. Don't just go at it, okay, lady. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. And my husband cooked these earlier, but it's they sweet, but they were darker. Yeah. But they good. Taste it. I'm gonna put one on here. Taste it. It's so cause yeah. I just taste them one. Oh my god, they so sweet. So I made y'all some more because I ain't. But okay. taste one of them, Mama, too. Okay. You're going to taste the difference. Oh, my God. They so sweet. Yum. Oh, God. You Thank see you. how sweet it is, isn't it? That one is raw, isn't it? The highlight of the meal just arrived. I'm so excited about this. She went in the back. She pan fried in butter some plantains for us. And I, how oh, what's so hot? Do we I love plantains. But, Our husband cooked that one. But they had these ones earlier and they are, they're darker than the other ones. Can you see that? So she brought it out for us to sample and try in addition to the ones that we just had her make fresh for us. And um, that's amazing. It is so caramelized and sweet. It needs nothing, but I'm very excited about that. I'm going to try this atomic one because it was... She just brought it out of the frying pan. <laughs> literally just came off the fryer. Oh, smell. It's such a mild fruit. It's such... It's so good. Wow. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, so ah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try the ones that her husband made earlier today that have uh, had a chance to cool off and uh, really caramelize. Mm -hmm. Wow. So good. It really, you know when you pan fry squash or zucchini, mm -hmm. it kind of darkens like that. That's what that reminds me of, but it's not too sweet like a banana. It just has like a light sweetness. Mm. I'm gonna try one of the super hot ones. Oh, it's so hot. I have to do it with a uh, fork here. <laughs> yeah, bring it wow, it's nice, still hot. You think you could eat these over ice cream? Yeah, why not? I mean, you could you could pan fry a banana for over with that, but that would. Uh, if it was me, I would put a little bit of, um, I mean, I, I would treat it as a dessert. It's not a dessert. Mm -hmm. It is strictly a vegetable side, but it has some honey and some cinnamon on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Over ice cream. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs>